So do I. Bring it. Does the sword make my bum look big? Yes! <laughs> Naughty. Oh, One, two. Welcome back to Jolly's Rants. I'm Jolly. Here's your rant. So, um, today I got to talk about something that I really did not want to talk about. And at this point, folks, it is just a rumor. Okay, I'm just putting that out there. It's just a rumor, but for how long, right? Um, before I get into that, uh, the problem is Disney. You know they. They tend to bend towards the woke side, you know, the Me Too side, the, the Believe the Wham side. And uh, I got a bad feeling. I got a bad feeling. Um, uh, anyway, we've seen what they did to Splash Mountain, right? They're shutting that down, saying it's racist uh, because it's tied to the Song of the South, and so they're completely erasing the memory of that movie and those characters, okay? So Splash Mountain will never be the same thanks to wokeness. Um, and, you know, they also uh, injected feminism right into Star Wars with Rey and Holdo and Maz and, you know, the butthole eyes girl, you know. Um, and now, yeah, they're gonna shut down Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is it, it had an upgrade, uh, I think it was about eight years ago now, uh, where, you know, they incorporated the movies into the ride. And what they did was they built a bunch of animatronic uh, Johnny Depp, you know, um, characters to use uh, throughout the ride, you know, for uh, <clears throat> Jack Sparrow, right? So, I loved it. You know, the first time I went and seen it, you know, I'm from Disneyland. I was purchased there. I was previously a pirate. I was bought outside of a shop there, you know, 30 years ago, right? Um, it's true. It's true. True story. This is back when Disneyland wasn't woke, you know, and um, I've had a, I've had a makeover since then, but yeah, you know, I love the ride. I love the upgrade. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the movies, but you know, I, I enjoy the character, right? Well, you can kiss that shit goodbye, folks. If, if this goes sour, and, and maybe if it, even if Johnny does win, it could be too late. It could be too much for Disney to handle, and they're going to shut it down. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you hear, you know, if, if you start hearing the rumor yourself, don't be surprised. And if it does get shut down, well, maybe you heard it here first, folks. But we'll keep our fingers crossed that uh, Johnny, you know, his legacy uh, doesn't get, you know, tarnished. Um, they keep Pirates of the Caribbean the same. They don't go all woke and put the new actress in there. Who was it? Who was it going to be? Amber Heard? I, I can't remember who. Who's in the new movie? I know it's. I know it's a female actress. Ah, should have looked that up. I don't know. Didn't care. Didn't have Johnny Depp in it, right? I was just like, eh, eh, pass. <laughs> but I love the ride, and I got a lot of nostalgia for it. So hopefully they they don't tarnish that and they keep it the same. But you know Disney. Mm. Anyway, smash that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Disneyland is gonna cancel Pirates of the Caribbean, or do you think uh, you think Johnny's legacy will stay? And uh, Jack Sparrow will live to see another day. Hmm. I don't know. Um, it's a good question. Uh, share the link with your friends. Let them know that the rumor's going around already. Disney's going to cancel Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, make sure you subscribe, too. We're almost to 1,000 subs. And i um, pretty, pretty excited about that. Big goal. Big goal. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate all the love. And I'll catch you on the next one, okay? I'm Jolly, and I approve this message. Tuck and roll.